Now, after decades of silence, the widow of an NYPD officer killed in a terror attack known as the forgotten 9-11 is sharing her story, opening up about how she learned her husband was in danger, befriending the terrorists who killed him, and more. And it is all in her brand new book. It's called Life Detonated, the true story of a widow and a hijacker. The author of that book right there is Kathleen Murray Moran. She joins us now. She's also the co-founder of Survivors of the Shield. Thank you, Kathleen, for being with us. I'm delighted to be here. Well, thank you. Your husband was killed by a terrorist September 11th, yes. 1976. What yes. happened on that day? Well, I never thought of my life as a story, but I was teaching a writing course, and I asked my students to write about September 11th, 19, 2001. And while they were writing, I thought, I wonder what they would think if they knew my story. So I started to write it down. And then I read it to the class, mm -hmm. and the room was silent, and someone said, oh my God, what a story. And that's when I knew that I would write my book. Brian, Brian worked for the NYPD. What yes. was his specialty? He was a bomb squad expert. Okay, so on that day, terrorists planted a bomb in Grand Central Station, and then they tried to hijack a plane, TWA yes. plane. The plane never went down, but your husband was sent into Grand Central to go to this locker where a bag was being kept and the bomb was inside? Yes. So you saw that on TV? I did. I watched as he took that bag out of the locker. He put it on a pole and he brought it out to the truck. And then what happened? And then he disappeared from view. And this was all on camera? This was on I camera. I can't imagine I that because nowadays that, they would never allow cameras in to see a scene <laughs> like that. When you, and you, so you saw your husband basically disappear before your eyes and your I life did. changed. You wrote, you said, I worried I would fall back into poverty, that somehow my boys would slide into the hardship that I had experienced as a child. That was your fear. Yes. You have two boys with him. I do. And you've since gotten remarried and have a little girl. Yes. Or maybe not so little anymore. How old's no, your daughter? She's 35. <laughs> How are your children dealing with this? Well, you know, it's been many years and we have adjusted. Um, I wrote to the hijacker because I was looking for answers and couldn't find them. I wanted to know why the bomb exploded. And ironically, it was she who helped me heal. This we, was the wife of the man who actually made the bomb that yes, ultimately killed your husband. Yes. And she was on the plane. She was one she of the was, hijackers. She was part of it. She was an American. She was American born. So you, you had, a, this is a picture of, of the lady and you became friends? I'm not going to call it a friendship. We corresponded for many years, and, and she gave me advice that helped me heal. What did she say? She, she was very pragmatic, and she understood what I was going through. And, and so she... Did she feel remorse? Did she say, I'm sorry? Very did she much leave so. her husband? Very much so, yes. She divorced her husband. She was um, very sad, and, and her letters really made me feel that I could heal from this. And so gradually I did. What happened to her? She, I wrote to the parole board and she was released from prison. Wow. Did she ever get back with her husband? He was released after 32 years and he went to Croatia to join her, but um, he put a bullet in his head shortly after he was uh, Released. They wanted independence for Croatia, and that's yes. what they were. That's what they were fighting over. Now, um, I know the NYPD, because I want to talk about your organization. You helped create Survivors of the Shield. Yes. And you were told the, the NYPD told you that you would receive half of your husband's pension, which was about nine hundred dollars a month. And if she, if you ever got remarried, you wouldn't get a penny. So is that why right. you started this organization? It was. I I needed to um, to find someone who I could pass legislation with, and I did. I found two women, and uh, we went to Governor Cuomo, and we passed legislation that we would keep our pensions even if we remarried. We had full scholarships for our children. Mm. So Survivors of the Shield is still a strong organization wow. today. I'm sorry for the loss of your first husband, but as a result, so many families are being helped, full pensions, college for their kids. Yes takes a weight off a lot of people that are going through a stressful situation. Thank you. God bless you. I wish you all the best. Kathleen Murray Moran, if you want to pick up the book, it's, it's a page turner. Life Detonated, the true story of a widow and a hijacker. Thank, Thank you, you so much.